Yes, I crafted this and created this and yes, we say goodbye to Mr. Piggy. Welcome back everyone, my name is Aircode. Today in this video, we're on the latest beta, which by the way is called Beta 1.4 now. They've skipped 1.3 because they said they had a couple of complications. But in this latest beta, they have added the chemistry update from the education version. You can make helium balloons, which makes animals fly, sparklers, underwater TNT, and so much more. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I was never good at science during school, so I'm having to learn this as well as you guys. Now if you do enjoy this, and you would like to see some more science lessons from me, please be kind enough to hit that like button. So this works for Android, Windows 10, and Xbox. Very soon, it is coming to iOS. So I wanna start off by teaching you how this works. Don't worry, we have a chemistry world. We'll get into that. If I go to create new, as if you're creating a brand new world, set this to creative, of course, this is the experimental gameplay. So if I enable this now, it's gonna enable beta features, experimental gameplay may not be stable. So this will enable the new things such as dolphins, the shipwrecks and much more. But we're not gonna be messing around with that in today's video. Don't worry, you will see videos on my channel. If you go a little bit further down to cheats, you have activate cheats and education edition. Now if we enable this, it enables education edition chemistry features. This cannot be disabled after your world is created. Please note that these features are best experienced on desktop devices with moderate to high memory. So you have to enable the education edition if you wanna mess around with the features that I'm messing around with in today's video. They are absolutely spectacular. It is so much fun. So I prepared a world to try and teach you guys a couple of things about this. Yes, that is a balloon. Yes, I crafted this and created this. And yes, we say goodbye to Mr. Piggy. <laughs> it actually works on mobs as well. It's really fun. It's also a really good way to get rid of them if they're in your in your way as well. So yeah, you can make animals fly super, super high. Goodbye, my friend. I miss you already. So the cool thing about this, which I like, is that if I was to go to the crafting menu and I was to try and type in balloon, it does not come up. You have to create the specific elements, compounds, and much more in order for this to work. Now, they have every single element of the periodic table inside of here. As you guys can see, you can see we have the likes of hydrogen, helium, lithium. Now, if I go further down, they've also got the new elements. I never really seen these during school, so I'm not entirely sure when these were added, to be, to be honest with you. And of course, it begins to rain, forward slash weather clear. So again, I've created a couple of things. Uh, we're gonna be creating ourselves balloons. The color can change, by the way. I just made a red balloon because it reminds me of the evil clowns. Um, you can also make yourself sparklers, which are awesome, and you can make yourself underwater TNT and much more. So the things that they've added in this version is we have here the element constructor, we have here the compound creator, we have the lab table, this one here is the material reducer, crafting tables and brewing stands are also active in this as well, helping to create things. Like for example, inside of here, we can create ourselves, I believe it's like an antidote, which is used to cure, like I think it's poison, there's also nausea curing as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to start off by making the balloon. I've put things in specific order just so I remember. <laughs> Cause yes, I get confused. So the things that you're gonna need is we need to craft ourselves this. So this is latex right here. We need to craft or create latex. And to do this, you need a couple of materials. Now to do it, you need to use the element constructor. And like I said, I've created a little bit of a guide here to create the specific ingredients for a balloon because I know you guys are gonna wanna mess around with a balloon. So if I right click on this element constructor, we need to set this to one, one and zero, which will create hydrogen. Two, two and two will create helium. And yes, six, six, six will create carbon. So if I set this to one and one, as you guys can see, we have hydrogen. Uh, two, two, and I think it was two again, creates helium and then obviously six, Six and six creates carbon. I'll try and leave a couple of uh, guides in description so you guys can go and check out how to create specific uh, elements. I'm not gonna craft these right now, but for this guys, you need five carbon and you need eight hydrogen. This is where we move into the exciting thing. So if I put one, two, three, four, five inside of here and eight inside of here, we have ourselves the latex that we need. So grab as much as you need. I'm just gonna grab a stack of 64 just for the sake of it. Because of course, 64 
It's the highest that you can have in Minecraft. Come on, game. There we go. That'll do. So I've crafted that now. We don't need to mess around with them. Again, it's five carbon and eight of those. We've also got these, which we'll get into in just a second. So this is the crafting recipe. You need helium, but you need the element itself. You don't really need to create any form of like... Um, the way we've crafted the, the the latex here, you don't need to do that. So grab whatever color you want. Grab yourself some helium. You can search for it if you really wanted to. 64 helium right there. Let's just grab ourselves the dye. So we'll just do uh, orange. We'll grab ourselves some purple. We'll also grab ourselves some rose red dye because, well, I like red. Red is my favorite. So the crafting recipe for this is we need ourselves some leashes as well. Let's grab ourselves some leads. So again, the crafting recipe, that goes in the bottom. The helium goes in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six on the side, and then whatever color you want. So if you wanted to make an orange balloon, you put orange. Maybe you wanted to make yourself a purple balloon. You can make yourself purple. Or maybe you want to make it yourself like, let's grab ourselves some ink sacks. You can make black, I believe. Let's try this. So I'm not messing around with the different colors, to be honest with you. So as you guys can see, we have ourselves some black balloons. So that's the recipe that you need. I'm just gonna put these over here. Again, you have to create the latex. You can't search for it. It makes you learn science. You don't You don't get access to it. You have to learn it yourself. So here's a prime example. Let's set a purple balloon. Goodbye, my friend. We grab ourselves a black balloon. We can send this guy into space as well. An orange balloon. Goodbye, my friends. It's a really good way to get rid of them if they're in the way. So that's how you make that, which I think is absolutely awesome. It's fantastic. Um, this one... We'll do this in just a second. This is a sparkler. Yes, you can make sparklers as well. I just want to get rid of a couple of balloons. Let's move these over here. So the next thing that we're going to be doing, have I messed up this? I think I may have messed this up a little bit. Okay, so let's focus on making some other things such as sparklers. The first thing I want to teach you guys is I'm trying to teach you about these new things. So for example, if I'm to put, let's say, one calcium inside of here with two chlorine, this is going to create calcium chlorine, which you need to craft specific sparklers. Now, we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to mess around with a couple other things. Plus, potassium along with one chlorine will create potassium chlorine. And you need these for specific colors, again, for sparklers. So something I want to do here is we're going to put nitrogen in here with three hydrogen, and this is going to create ammonium. If we grab, let's just grab a couple of these. We'll grab ourselves some of these. If we put them inside of this, which is the lab table, you can see some animations change. So if we put one inside of there with periphesis, you can see it's grabbing them. I think this makes some form of a fertilizer the last time I checked, but we're just going to combine these. Something should pop out. And as you guys can see here, we have super fertilizer. Now, I think this might be used for crops. So if we just grab ourselves a hoe here. Again, guys, I really don't know a lot about this. This is just me doing a little bit of research and trying to teach you guys. We grab ourselves some seeds. I really don't know how this is going to work. This is going to be interesting though. So these features are so much fun. So if I tap this on there, oh, it instantly grows it to full capacity. That's actually really awesome. Okay, so we're just going to grab ourselves, what else can we grab here? Uh, let's say melons. Let's grab ourselves some melons. One, two, and three. Instantly grows it, instantly grows it, instantly grows it. What if we grow this? Does it grow all the way? It does. It grows it full. That's actually really cool. What about if we give it to a, try and do it like, it's like a, it's like an extra boosted bone meal. That's the best way to explain this. So, yeah, I mean, there's loads of different combinations. Super fertilizer is just one of the things that you can get. So go and mess around with it. So the next thing I want to mess around with is of course sparklers This is the general thing that you need to do. So you are gonna need this which is magnesium We'll get into that in just a second But to craft the specific things we need to do it in the compound creator. We'll put two of these inside of here So one in there two in there that's gonna create calcium We'll grab a couple of these uh, and we'll also do exactly the same with potassium and this is going to create a different color So we now have two different colors and again, we are going to need the magnesium So we're just going to grab ourselves a stack of this So magnesium mg something I were really really was uh, Familiar with before we get into it though before we do anything guys in fact, we'll do that last uh, We'll go to crafting table here. We're gonna put I didn't even grab much of them did I yeah mg there We're gonna grab ourselves some sticks and we're going to put some different colors inside of there. So we'll do some of these ones, which is going to create some purple ones. You can only hold one at a time. We'll change this. This should change color, I believe. Yeah, we have ourselves some orange ones as well. They look really fantastic. So once you've created your sparklers, you like eat it. And as you guys can see, we have ourselves a magical spark. If I hit F5, you can see we have sparklers. Very 
unusual, very different for Minecraft. And again, you can do the same with this one. I don't know if you can ha have one of these in your offhand though. That's a good question. Oh, you do. We have two different sparklers. That is so awesome. That is so, so cool. So you have two different sparklers that you can mess around with. That's actually really incredible. Okay, so anyway, getting away from that, because I'll be here for ages messing around with the sparklers. We have uh, this here, which is the material juicer. Now you can put specific materials in there. We'll just go with, let's just say dirt. And it will get the nearest elements to it. So if I put dirt inside of here, you can see we've got silicon, calcium, prophesis, nitrogen, iron, oxygen, copper. It gives you all these different things to create, which I like. Um, we'll grab ourselves some iron. Just, I think it's iron ore was one of them that I was messing around with last time. Yes, it shows you you've got iron, silicon, and oxygen. So it creates the specific elements based, based around the material itself. So that's a very, very smart idea, a smart thing. Again, the crafting table does become in use. And something else that also becomes in use as well is the this, the brewing stand. So for this, we're going to create, I think we're going to create an antidote. I'm not sure if it's an antidote, but it's something like that. If we put a nether wart inside of here, we have to make it as an awkward potion. This will, the same way you're crafting in Minecraft, but we're going to be using silver. I think we just need one of these. And I think it just creates, prevents you from having uh, the poison effect. In the meantime, while we're waiting for that, let's grab ourselves a balloon and send this little fellow straight into space. Goodbye, guys. The, the pig goes so fast. The pig goes so, so fast. So this should create the orca potion. I believe if we put this inside of here, it's gonna create a different kind of uh, potion effect. Again, you need the blaze powder as you you guys who play Minecraft will, will know. I do not know if any teachers are watching this, but blaze powder is now used to power up uh, the brewing stand so you can create specific potions. It was a new feature not long ago. So come on, what's this gonna do? So as you guys can see here, we have the antidote, which is so weird, right? So the antidote, do you throw it, do you eat it? I think this is from the poison effect. So if I grab myself uh, a poison potion for two minutes, we're gonna go to forward slash game mode S. I'm gonna drink this. I think if we use this. Yes, there you go. So the antidote stops the poison effect, <laughs> which is really cool. I, I, it's so, so awesome. I'm so impressed with this update. So we've got a game mode C. Let's create ourselves like an underwater TNT. This one's very unusual. So for this one, I believe we just need a torch and TNT. And all you do is go to the crafting table. Let's grab us. Can we grab a stack? We can't. One TNT plus that. No, it's not. I'm confused. I've definitely done something wrong. Wait, my bad. You need a torch and you need magnesium first. As you guys can see, underwater torch. That's my bad. And then, of course, you need the TNT. Um, I believe it's TNT plus NA, but this creates the underwater torch, which again works underwater, which you've probably never seen before in Minecraft. As you guys can see, it's pretty smart actually. It's pretty cool. So yeah, underwater torches. No need of them anymore though, because we now have, what are they called? Pickles? So for this one, we need NA. Ah, so NA is sodium. That's my bad. Okay, so you need sodium and you need TNT. This is gonna create, I think it's the other way around. It's gonna create underwater TNT. I, I don't really see a use to this. I've not seen any use to this. It didn't really make any better explosions or anything. I don't know, it's just an underwater TNT. Let's grab ourselves some flint and steel. And let's blow this up, of course. So if we set this on fire, I don't think it does much. It should blow the torches away though, right? Yeah, it does. So there you go, guys. That's all things that I wanted to show you in today's video. <laughs> I'm really impressed. It's a pretty crazy, magnificent, and fun update Science, guys. Go science. Guys, have a great day. Stay beautiful. And if you guys want to see some more science classes from me, then be sure to let me know in the comments section what we should focus on making next time. Catch you next time. Bye.